Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at BTC. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to be focusing in on our medium time frame counts here. So there is a couple that we are looking for here. So there's the potential that off of this high here, what we could be looking for is a five wave move. So this still hasn't invalidated. Now, the reason that I'm still tracking this is because we could still see something either along these lines where this becomes one, two, we have another one and a two here, and then we're looking for this bigger third wave. This would only confirm by a bigger push down towards us. 27,174 invalidation of this would be this 30,391. Now looking at this slightly different, we could also argue that this is one, two, and that this is actually a secondary one and two like this with a flat correction as a wave two. Now, if this is the case, what we then be looking for is this progression to the downside. 1618 would be our target. Invalidation is this 30,350. It's going to be very important that we take these highs out if we are looking for that bullish continuation to the upside. Until we actually do that, we need to be cautious of this idea that we could actually still look to break down. Now, if we are looking at this move in this way, where we say that this is our wave two, what we are looking for here is the potential to see a break to the downside. Now, what we were talking about in the previous video was that saying that what we could have here is a one, two, one, two. Now, the reason that I'm not too keen on this count is the fact that this secondary wave two would effectively be bigger than the primary wave two that we've got over here. So because of this fact and the fact that it has come up so high, it is less likely, but really until we actually cross this 29,333, I am going to be on the lookout for the potential that if we do start to develop five wave structure to the downside here, we need to be very careful that this third wave is not in play. Now, the 1.618 of this would be here at this 28,483. However, because of the fact that in this case, we would have a flat correction here, sometimes what we can get with this is a violent sell off in this wave three, and it can look to push past this 1.618 level. So if we do see something along these lines, what I would be potentially looking for is this 27,972 as a possible target. Now, this would be valid for as long as we stay below this 29,333. Like I said, because we've come up so high here and this has gotten so large, there are other interpretations of this which actually do seem to fit a bit better, but this is still a valid count. So I'm just being cautious that if we fail to actually move back up past this 29,333, and we start to see additional five wave structure to the downside. We're going to need to keep an eye on these 618 levels. So the 1618 primarily, and then this 2618, because as you can see here, if this is 1, 2, and we do start to see a bigger break to the downside, and we hit this 2618, the idea of actually hitting the 1618 at this 27,742 starts to become. Um, quite likely and uh, would mean that you know potentially this is then looking for that extension down and then if we now layer the other count on top of this effectively what we'd be looking for would be 27,753 for this to be confirmed as a one and a two so need to be a little bit careful of this idea of um, you know the waves just building up some series of ones and twos here and then next thing we look to break to the downside now another way we were talking about this was the potential that this move could be one, two, three, four, five, and we could still look for a bigger B wave. So this is something I'm going to be keeping an eye on. If we do see price move back to the upside here and a bigger ABC pattern, then this could align with coming back up into this 31,086 level to this 31,152. Now this whole area here could potentially be resistance and we could look to actually find rejection in here. You know, we haven't revisited this area over here since we've had a drop. So it will be very interesting to see how we react. If we want to see that bullish continuation up, we're going to have to see a five wave move, finding support again above the lows and then looking for that continuation up. As long as we stay below this level, we need to be very careful of the idea that this could still just be a bigger ABC pattern to the downside. So that's what I'm looking for within the five wave structures down. Now, there is also the potential here that we could have something like a zigzag off these highs because as we talked about in the previous video we could argue that our x wave is here or we could have a b wave up into this high now if we do have a b wave up into this high here effectively what we could have is that this could be a b and c now this also works if this is w x and y here so what i'm looking for within this though is it wouldn't make sense for this c wave really to complete here unless we have this b wave over here where this is one two three four five now if that's the case potentially we could be looking for a completed wave two and we're looking for that possibility of a break to the upside however if this c wave is incomplete what i'm looking out for here is the potential we could see something along these lines now 
The internals of this move to the downside are not great for this count at the moment, unless we say we have this is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. This is a fourth wave and a fifth wave down. Now, the reason I don't like this is because this wave would be very small. Potentially, we could argue that within here we have one, two, this is all three, four, and five. And then this would actually just be a bigger corrective move here. And then we're looking for another five wave move to the downside. So if we do see something like that off of these highs here, and we start to see one, two, three, four, five, and we look to break to the downside, some target areas that I'm going to be keeping an eye on here will be this area here of this 0 0.786 and this 854. Now this is in relationship to the wave one. And what I'd be looking out for here is that if this is a three wave move here, potentially we could look to fall short. This 854 would be quite interesting because it would be looking to just break this low. So if we do see five waves to the downside here and we look to find support, then we could be looking for something like a diagonal here. So this is something, it's not my primary count here, but it is worth keeping an eye on. If we do see just another three wave move down that fails to break this 28,300, then potentially what we could see here is another three wave move up and another three wave move down to complete this as a diagonal. In which case from this point, what we'd be expecting is price to continue to the upside. So just keeping an eye on this idea here. Now we're going to be talking about um, the other way that we were discussing it in the video yesterday, saying that, you know, this whole move here could be just a bigger W and X and a Y into this low point. Now, if this is the case, what we could be setting up here is a bigger corrective move as an A, B and a C. Now, given how far we've come down here, it is potentially possible that we could start to rally in the C wave. Now, this move could also potentially be three waves up, three waves down and another three waves to the upside. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that idea as well. If we just see something like this develop as a zigzag and then we get another three wave move down and then we see something like a flat or something to this effect. Effectively, what we could be looking for is a three wave move that is going to look to push to the upside. But we need to be cautious that until we actually take these highs um, and these ones more locally, even, you know, we need to be careful of that more bearish scenario where we could be looking for that direct breakdown. If we do start to break up here, what I'll be looking out for here is the potential that if this is A, B and C, what we could see is the potential to move up into this 1618 to this 1236 area, which would be 30,632 to this 30,165. If we do start to develop a five wave move to the upside here, I'm going to be very interested to see what happens after this. If we develop five waves up here, we need to be careful because until we actually find support again above this low, this whole move could be, like I said, a bigger A, a B and a C, in which case what we'd then be looking for would be continuation to the downside. Now, if we came up to this golden pocket area, which would be this 30,507 to this 30,424, effectively that one to one would be down here towards this 27,929. And what we'd then be looking for is the fact that this whole move is just a connector wave here and we'd be looking for a bigger WXY or alternatively a five wave move making this a bigger ABC pattern. Now, if this is the case, effectively we would be looking for that potential of coming back down here and testing the lower end of the um, bullish target area, which would be this 50% sitting here at this 29,908. Other targets to the downside, we could potentially look to find support within this bullish count is this 618 to the 786 lower down here. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on these levels as we see price move down. If we do move down that deep, then potentially we could still be within this wave too. The alternative here is like we talked about in the previous video that we could be in a bigger Y wave pattern here. So if we are looking at this as a WX and a Y, what I'd want to see here is at least a move down to this 0.618 level. And then one to one would be down here towards this 26507. But we need to be cautious of the idea that you know, if this does break down in a bigger way here and we start to form five waves, effectively 25,360 to this 23,646 is a potential target to the downside. Now, we're going to come back in here and we're going to discuss um, that idea of what is happening internally in this corrective structure. Now, if we are talking about this as being a potential B wave, what we'd want to see is this C wave to the upside. Now, another thing that we discussed in the previous video is that this could actually be an A. We get three waves up and then we still see another three waves down for this Z wave. So this is something we're going to have to keep an eye on as we see price react here. If we start to invalidate that um, five wave structure here, then I'll be looking out for the potential that if we fail to develop this five wave move, we could just see a three wave move to the upside and still look to move back down towards this 28,410 level. Now, if we do see something like this, we get a bigger three wave structure here. 
then it would start to make more sense that this is w x y x and then we have another z wave so it's going to be quite interesting to see whether we you know confirm this idea of this break to the upside here in the c wave or whether we actually just look to break to the downside because like we were talking about in the previous video we were saying that this move to the downside could be a bigger abc pattern like this where effectively we look at this whole move into this low as a this is a b and c as a flat correction and we could still see a push down towards this 28,126. now if we do see something like this it is still possible that this could still be a b and then we look for a c wave to the upside the key thing here is that if we do get a three wave move down like this effectively what i want to see is a break to the upside in five waves if we get three waves down and we're not looking at this as a b wave anymore what we could get is that this whole move could become our a wave here we get three waves to the upside and then we see that y wave actually looking to extend out a little bit now another way we were discussing this was that internally here that we were looking for this as our w wave this is our x wave and we're looking for that potential of an abc now we did come down and hit this one to one on the head here we didn't hit this 0.618 here which is my only quarrel with this move um effectively i would have liked to have seen this get hit but we're going to monitor this anyway if we look at this just as a corrective move here then potentially we could still look for that continuation down now we need to see whether we can see a five wave move starting to develop to the upside to confirm that c wave or the breakout pattern here and then look what happens from there once we reach the appropriate levels but for the moment what we need to be cautious of is this yellow rejection area here between this 29,778 to this 29,276 three wave move up into this zone could align with having this additional c wave to the downside here one to one target being this 28,126. now if we are looking at the more bullish case here what we'd be saying is that we've completed into this low here we're looking at this as a bigger one two as a bigger w x and a y and now we want to see this wave three develop to the upside now within this case effectively invalidation would be here at this 28,585 and what we'd want to see is a bigger five wave move starting to develop now like I said our target area is going to be this 31,113 if this is going to be a bigger five wave structure using this as a wave one now what I'd want to see more locally here is effectively starting to see this building five wave structure so we do potentially have five waves here what we can argue is that within this count we have this as one two this is a third wave fourth and a fifth wave or alternatively we could argue one two this is three four and five now if this is five into here we could have this as a b and c now if that's the case what i'd be looking for is a move into this 382 to this 50 percent level as well as that um, idea here we do also have a naked point of control on the daily sitting towards us 29,097 so we're going to be keeping an eye on this level to see if we do get some kind of an interaction here if however this a wave is completed here what we could see is that this could become an a we could see a b and then get a c wave down something to this effect and we could look to actually potentially push down into some of these lower areas with this idea here more locally if we lose this 786 which is sitting here at this 28,834 then potentially we need to be careful that this is not looking to extend to the downside if however we start to hold above this zone what we could be setting up for is a bigger abc pattern here where this becomes a we get this as a b wave down like i said it can potentially look to complete near, near this 382 level and then we'd be looking for a c wave to the upside if we do come down towards this 382 and we find support the one to one eight would actually align with coming here towards this 29,725 as a one to one level. Now, if we do have this as a five wave move and we get three waves to the downside, effectively, this is going to be the next target I want to see for this bullish count where this becomes one two. What I'd want to see is this one six one eight starting to get hit here at this 30,127 level. Now, if we do start to see impulsive structure to the upside like this, what this could then align with is that this move could become a bigger five wave structure now if we do hit this wave three target then the fifth wave would potentially look to complete in this area of this 30,379 to this 30,223 if we do see something along these lines where this becomes one two and then we get this as one two three four and five the problem is internally for this to be an impulse to the upside we need to hit that 1618 and we can see that this wouldn't do that obviously um, so either there would have to be some extension within this wave 
or alternatively what we'd be looking for is the potential that this becomes another one and a two here and then we look to break to the upside from that point so that's going to be key here if we start to see five wave structure to the upside we're going to have to see whether it can maintain that three wave move down and hold above the previous low but effectively if we're looking at this bullish count i don't want to really see us lose this 28,701. having a look at the daily cpr lines here what we can see is that we have an engulfing cpr here so this is engulfing the previous Day, but we also do have these fairly unchanged for the last three or four days so because of this reason i'm looking out for that potential that you know this could either just choose to just become range bound in this area or alternatively we could start to look to break if we stay above these central lines here which is sitting between this 29,134 to this 28,986 what we could see is price could start to trend to the upside now if we're going to start to see this trending what I'd want to see is us breaking through these levels as 29,422 and then potentially looking to find support above these before looking for continuation up. Other targets to the upside for today would be this 29,636, this 29,989 and this 30,211. Now looking at this structure here, it is likely that if we do come back down into these CPRs, we could look to find support. And we can see here that we do have this line at this 29,064. This would align with the idea of coming back into this 382. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on this level, though we have also this higher line here. So if we fail to actually push down as deep, we could potentially start to see this move away from this area. Now, if we do look to move down slightly deeper, we could also find support on this 28,987 level. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that, as well as that as a push down towards this s1 line would bring us down towards that 786 at that 28,847 so if we do see a deeper move i want to see whether this holds if we start to lose this s1 line here then other targets to the downside become this 28,488 we have this 28,273 and this 27,915 as possible downside targets moving over here to the weekly pivots what we can see is that we are starting to interact with these central lines here if we are looking for this as a break to the upside what i'd like to see is price starting to move back above these levels so we have actually had a reaction of this 29,316 level and we're between this and this 29,162 if we do see price even wick down here i want to see price moving back above this if we're looking for that continuation if we reject off this level and start to break to the downside Targets then become for this week this uh, 28,430. We have this 27,774 and this lower level here, this 26,968, which would align with coming back into our golden pocket lower down here. So we're going to be looking out for that this week. If we, however, do manage to get back above these lines, then potentially we could look to find resistance here at this 29,893. We have this 30,701 and this 31,352 as potential upside targets for this week. Now, moving over onto the monthly pivot what we can see here is that we do also have these central lines above us currently if we do look to move back to the upside i'm going to be looking out for this 29,599 to potentially be resistance to so this 29,959 and this 30,333 if we do see price looking to move back to the upside here we need to be cautious of the idea of rejection here and then continuation to the downside. If we are looking for that bigger trending move where we're saying that this is one, two, and then we're looking for this as a bigger five wave structure, what I'd ideally like to see is price starting to find support on these levels and stepping through this zone, looking for that bigger extension to the upside. If we fail to do that, what we could be then looking for is that more bearish scenario. If we, however, just start to break down from where we currently are, targets i will be looking out for at the downside is this 28,123 we have this 27,019 level and this area here of this 25,181 if we do manage to break back above these central lines here other targets to the upside for this month is this 31,067 we have this 32,917 and this 34,000 area as possible upside targets for this month. Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. And leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.